What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic. So one question that I get quite a bit is which HDMI cable to buy, especially when it comes to 4K HDR and projectors. So today we're gonna talk about HDMI cables, so stay tuned. Now, before I get into choosing an actual HDMI cable, I wanna talk about HDMI versions. Now, I have done two really highly detailed videos on HDMI, so I do recommend that you check those out if you haven't already. So every device supports a specific version of HDMI, and the version that you're usually gonna find on most modern equipment nowadays is gonna be HDMI 2.0B. Now, HDMI 2.1 is the latest version of HDMI, and there haven't really been many devices that have come out with this yet, but this is gonna support 10K, so you already know about 4K. HDMI 2.1 is gonna support 10K at 120 frames per second, and it's also gonna support things like dynamic HDR, which is gonna take HDR to the next level. Now, the good thing about HDMI HDMI cables is that they're not specific to HDMI versions. That means right now, if you go out and buy like a Roku or something like that that supports HDMI 2.0 and you have an older HDMI cable, it may work just fine as long as it can handle the bandwidth. So the two biggest deciding factors of HDMI cables is gonna be the length of the cable and the quality of the cable. So the first type of cable is gonna be a regular high-speed HDMI cable, and this is probably what you're using right now for things like your Blu-ray player, Xbox, PlayStation, or Roku, or whatever. Now, as long as you have a decent quality high-speed HDMI cable, it'll work just fine for 4K HDR content as long as the cable is not too long. Now, with some cheaper HDMI cables, you might run into issues once you go longer than 15 feet. And even some high-quality high-speed HDMI cables have problems sending 4K HDR any farther than 25 feet. So this brings me to the next type of HDMI cable, which is gonna be an active HDMI cable. So active HDMI cables are just like high-speed HDMI cables, but they actually have signal repeaters or signal boosters in them. So this is actually gonna help the cable to send the signal over a longer distance. Now, active HDMI cables do a good job of sending 1080p content over a longer distance, but they don't really work that well with sending high bandwidth 4K signals. So this brings me to the last type of HDMI cable, which is gonna be a fiber optic HDMI cable. Now, fiber HDMI cables are still fairly new, but these are basically gonna use fiber optics to send the signal. So this is good for two reasons. One, it's gonna allow you to send the signal over a much longer distance, and it's also gonna do better with handling the high bandwidth of a 4K HDR signal. So fiber HDMI cables are gonna work really well for projectors since they allow you to send the signal over a longer distance, and usually projectors at the back of a room, so you usually need a longer cable. And believe it or not, I actually just recently used a 150 foot fiber HDMI cable to send a 4K signal for a business a few months ago. Now, the one problem with fiber HDMI cables is that they are really, really expensive. So I don't usually recommend them unless you absolutely need one. All right, so now that we've gone through all of that, you're probably wondering, well, what are the best HDMI cable options out there? So I know a lot of people buy HDMI cables from Amazon, including myself, and the best thing I can tell you is to read through the reviews for those cables. And a pro tip that I wanna give you on trying to find longer HDMI cables is to make sure that you filter your reviews according to the distance that you're looking for. So for instance, if you're trying to find a 50-foot HDMI cable, make sure that you filter the reviews for that 50-foot model so you can see if people are having issues with the longer versions of the cables because otherwise most people are just gonna buy 10 and 15 foot cables but the issues usually start at 25 or 50 feet. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video and I will post some options for HDMI cables including some of the ones that I use in the video description. So make sure you go ahead and check those out. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video.